Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be going over 1999 Amy problem number 2. Here's a view of this problem. We are considering a parallelogram with given vertices, four of its vertices. We are also told that a line through the origin cuts the figure into two congruent polygons. And we would basically want to find the slope of this line. So let me go ahead and make a simple sketch of this picture and then we can decide how to proceed. So I realize that the shape is in the first quadrant. These first two points are on x is equal to 10. So let's mark here x is equal to 10 here. And then the other two points are on x equals 28. So probably up here. So that would be 28. And I just realized the greatest uh, vertical and component, y component 153, and the smallest one is 45. So let me just put 153 here. So somewhere here would be 45. Then I would have uh, 84. So up here. Uh, and 114. So therefore my points would be... So the four points are here um up here 10 so that would be uh, so i can call this point as a b c and d so therefore this is a b um c would be up here actually that that's d c would be this one um right here so that would be the c so we have a very nice parallelogram huh? as given in the question and you can see that this side length a b and c d are both 69 but regardless so when we uh we are told that when we draw um actually let me use another color here if we draw a line through the um through the origin we want that line to cut that parallelogram into two congruent um shapes so this and uh, so I, I i did draw the line so that it looks like it is symmetric obviously and then this one up here so well no uh, so that, that that makes sense so obviously um well this tiny bit opening here is equal to that tiny bit opening so this distance is equal to this distance and already I know these distances are equal. So um, there are various ways I can attempt this problem. Obviously I can try to uh, um, figure out this intersection point very close to A and then this intersection point very close to C and then figure out a, a relationship. But instead um, I would like to emphasize that notice that uh, for every point on the on the parallelogram there is a symmetric point which will be on the other side. So if I have a point up here, the symmetric will be down here. Or if you have one point here, there will be a corresponding point up here, except one point where um, its uh, corresponding point will be itself, and that would be the center of the parallelogram, I should say. And the center of the parallelogram, not surprisingly, will be where the diagonals actually intersect. So um, so therefore what I claim is that, huh? so that midpoint here, let's call it, um, well, I guess M, hmm? so that midpoint um, is on that line for sure because we, the midpoint uh, is on both sides of, uh, of the congruent polygons. And actually that does the tricky part. So what are the coordinates of M? would be uh, so it would be just the sum of the x coordinates and so x sub a plus x sub c uh over two and times uh, sorry and then the, the the y coordinates will be y sub a plus um y sub c oops okay hold plus y sub c over two and when we plug in the values for a and c in that equation, we get uh, 10 plus 28 over 2 and then 45 plus 153 over 2, which finally gives us 10 plus 28, 38 over 2 is 19. And then 45 um, plus 
153 would be 198 over 2 would give us 99 so that's the coordinates of point m and we claim m is on the line through the origin which splits this uh, parallelogram into two congruent polygons and therefore um, the slope of the line huh, slope is simply um, equal to we can simply use the coordinates of m to find the slope because our line goes through the origin so it would be 99 over 19 and therefore the sum that we are looking for m plus n is simply um, 99 plus 19 which is 118 so that is the answer and we are done